what's happening. Uh, here's like a little principle that I've uh, come to find out about things. It's like uh, things seem to be kind of like lighter while they're in motion. It's like the object itself is like really light. For instance, it's like a motorcycle rider. When they start hitting like 200 miles an hour, it's almost like they're levitating and floating and flying as opposed to riding on the road. So in motion, that uh, couple hundred pound motorcycle starts to feel like a 15, 20 pound uh, broomstick, basically. Uh, and it's, all right, for instance, like uh, when it comes to swinging, swinging a heavier weapon, with one arm, it's like in a way you kind of got to lift it and then you drop it. And as it's falling, you kind of, you catch it as it's falling right at the right moment. And then you add all your extra uh, effort into it. It's kind of like golf, like golf. They first, they swing it backwards and then they let it fall and let the weight of the own club in your own arm kind of catch. Then as it's falling, they catch it and then and follow it through. Uh, with the straight, you know, uh, true aim. Uh, so there's another kind of like things are lighter in motion, but while you're holding it there, it's, it's heavy. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of easy. That's why you see things like they got machines like perpetual motion machines, like the, its own movement is fueling its own movement. And I mean, this is kind of the same principle. Uh, for instance, an airplane, if an airplane was just sitting still, unless it's some kind of a jet with like, with like uh, movable rockets on it or jets, uh, it has to start going past a certain speed before it can lift off the ground. So therefore, once this object is in motion, it becomes lighter. I mean, it's more than just that. I mean, if you didn't have the right aerodynamics on the wings, it wouldn't work. But I mean, but it's still, it's the same principle. Like, uh. Uh, but you can also see it in, let's, uh, let's say for instance, the, the three states of uh, matter, I think they say it, I think that's what's called. It could be wrong, but it's like, uh, you got solid, liquid, gas. Okay. A solid, the particles are moving so slow that it, it forms the solid thing like ice you, or you use water. Water's just, uh. Normally, it's just a liquid. Well, no, it's actually, it's all the things. It's ice, it's liquid, and it's gas. But they also say without water, fire could never really exist. So, I don't know. Uh, it's like uh, there's a, a weird state called plasma. I'm not sure how that plays into this whole thing. But uh, it's like... Uh, I guess you could say a magnetic field, a charge field is always moving. It's like a current, like going. So even that, that's always constantly moving and uh, shifting. And uh, uh, that's how static uh, electricity is created is actually through particles bouncing and moving off one another and agitating each other to the point there's a discharge. Uh, so, or it's, it, it's like uh, I, I seen in this uh it's like uh, th th this principle of, uh, what is it? Uh, it's like basically it's uh, nullifying someone's force or like basically just like stealing the energy of their effort and just totally just like, and like one way you could look at, or in the movie that the example was there was these two guys, this one guy, he had this bird and he had it in his hand and every time it tried to take off, he would lift his hand a little bit, and then as, as it would stop, he'd pull back down. And this other dude snatched this bird out of the air, and he moved his arm all weird, and the bird couldn't fly. And he was like this, and the bird was stuck, but then he stopped and stood, uh, stood still, and the bird could take off. I mean, for instance, one time, I collected a whole bunch of little baby frogs, and I had them in this little shallow box. And they kept trying to jump out, but I kept dropping the box like this every time they were trying to jump. And they would all get stuck to the to the bottom of the box. I mean, that's, for instance, kind of how you can look at it, too. It's like in motion, the object is light, 
but yet the impact is heavy. You know what I'm saying? So in order to nullify that, that impact, you actually have to use the same amount of, of uh, motion in the opposite direction. And you kind of got to meet it at the same speed because if you're too fast or if you're too slow, you'll still receive impact. If you're too fast, you'll miss it and you won't be able to catch it. It's kind of like you can think uh, like uh, baseball. If someone throws a baseball directly at you real hard, do you want to just hold your arm out stiff or do you kind of want to get your body loose? And as the ball hits your hands, you kind of want to go and pull it back and that kills the force. But that object was very light while it was traveling. But if something is st is still and it hits, it's ah, it causes a lot of ah. But if it, that's how I'm kind of uh, trying to show the object of motion weighs less because even uh, I guess your your hand as you snatch backwards like a ball out of the air, it weighs less as you're moving too. So that's the way to. Uh, you know, nullify it is the same way that's even created. It's like, uh, I guess, uh, uh, you can think of it that way, uh, two objects in motion. But uh, you can think uh, it's like something uh, that is, uh, if something's moving like real, like uh, uh, irregular, though, that, that'll throw everything that throws everything off, though, you know what I mean? But if at least if things are moving at constant speeds for a certain <coughs> amount of time, <laughs> it's kind of weird, man, uh, how that how that stuff works. Uh, another way you could look at it is like on a like Barry Sanders. When Barry Sanders used to run and someone would try to tackle him, he would use the energy from them hitting his shoulder and he would. That, that backwards force would push the other sh shoulder forward and he would move his feet like in this weird way so that as soon as they hit him, they actually caused him to spin and end up on the other side of them. So, I mean, there's the flip to it. You know what I mean? Uh, it's the same reason why Frisbees fly, why boomerangs come back. Uh, uh, but, you know, then you, you got things like this, like feathers, okay? like. Uh, if you try to throw a feather, you know, it's so dang light that you, there's a, there's just, it's almost impossible to make that thing go anywhere unless you create a wind that is very, very, very super duper strong. And I, I mean, that actually can take that little light object and shove it through a steel door, basically. And I mean, that's, it's, this is a real funny thing about things in motion and how they change. Like they're, it almost seems like they're. Uh, structure changes or something while it's moving at a high high speed uh so i mean and then on the flip of that you know things that are moving real slow uh probably have a uh, another kind of effect but uh just uh things i think about you know uh seeing how all things these things kind of uh interconnect you know just like the water that it's true in the water because you got the ice, and then uh, liquid, and then gas. You know, the faster the particle, the looser, and it almost gets to the point like you can't, you can't really grasp a hold of water or or uh, uh, gas, but you can grab a hold of ice. But that's still even slippery, so it's kind of still. Uh, a funny substance any way you look at it it's hard to hold on to you know what i'm saying when because in a way even ice the particles are still moving you know what i'm saying this is just kind of weird weird thought here uh kind of almost like uh beam me up scotty you know like uh teleport you through the roof type uh situation if you move fast enough could the particles just shoot right from one point to another you know what i'm saying uh almost like uh dematerialized rematerialized type situation i mean uh if a object's moving fast enough i mean i don't know you i don't watch the flash but i hear pe i've heard people talk about it you know uh you know uh something like that kind of in a way man but uh 
with the whole CERN going on and all that stuff, you know, this type of stuff is kind of really relevant. Just to uh, just have a low level understanding of uh, it wouldn't hurt none that uh, trying to figure out, man, uh, what makes this whole thing uh, this whole thing uh, stay uh, stuck together. You know what I mean? Because it seems like things that move, you know, have a tendency just to want to fly away or just uh, disintegrate, basically. Uh, I mean, uh, you ever seen one of those guys in like at NASA or what their their propaganda films where they're training them how to be astronauts and they got them in the centrifuge spinning them and their faces are all like. <laughs> if they spun them fast enough, it's like this, but they would just and just explode into pieces i mean theoretically or it just they would rip it'd be like getting in a car wreck and getting whiplash so bad that it just rips your body to pieces basically the speed rips your body to pieces so i mean it's pretty crazy how could you go so fast but yet not fly into pieces there's another like uh barrier that keeps people from getting too uh uh too far away man i it, it would seem to me anyway. Uh, but then again, I'm just a dude, man. Uh, I'm not no uh, rocket scientist or nothing. Uh, and I just start uh, learning these things as I go.